presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who oh, we have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. We're kicking into Memorial Day. Gotta love it. Always do your best. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you're allowing yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 931, Nasdaq's up 221, S&P's up 109, gold contract down $20, trading at 1735 an ounce. Silver up 39 cents, $17.46 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 279, $32.22 a barrel. Who would ever have thought, folks? You get a minus $35 uh, approximately a month ago, and now we get a plus 32. Have to love it. Notes and bonds, you get the 10 year down 23 ticks, trading 138.19. The 30 year off uh, two and a half, well, two points, 23 ticks at 178.07. You're going to have a lot of funding coming out on Wednesday. King Dollar. King Dollar is down 747 ticks, trading 99.655. The Euro is at 109. The Yen is out here at 107.39. The British Pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Let's go over to the world to, of direction, folks. We got our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the Managing Director, Head of Product at Direction. Dave Mazza, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, happy to be back. Thanks for having me. Totally. And you've been busy, man. I, you, get, you, get, you get a lot of ETFs out here. Hey, so, so let, let me ask you. Well, of course, we get a, we get a great day, folks. That's, I mean, that's the bottom line. When you, when you get a day that's up these percentages. Uh, but Dave, let, let me ask you. Can you, what is the, um, your daily S&P 500 high beta bull and bear? Talk to me about yeah. this. This is pretty yeah, these cool, are really interesting products. They're actually relatively new, but they've taken off. Uh, so what they are, so think of the S&P 500, right? 500 yeah. stocks. It takes the 100 highest beta stocks. So okay. we provide three times exposure on the long side. Yeah. We'll fund HIBL and then three times inverse on HIBS. And Tom, these two funds, as expected, uh, because we've seen so much market volatility, have seen investor interest uh, for new funds uh, grow tremendously because people see the opportunity set not just in focusing the S&P 500 broadly, but on that more concentrated exposure of just those high beta names. Yeah, no, I can see that. I can see that. So you, you, you get the 100 top and the 100 bottom, right? Of Well, it's just... It's the index itself, yeah. the S&P 500 high beta index, is just the 100 highest beta stocks within the S&P 500. I got it. I got it. Okay, cool. The long side is the bull on that, and right. then the short is the bear on that. Pretty cool, man. That's I, I can see that. And, folks, you can find out more, you know, if you're right, you're right and sitting on the site right now, just hit the direction banner, or you can just go to direction.com. It's D-I-R-E-X-I-O-N. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool, man. When I brought those up and I start seeing them, and they're liquid. That's, you know, that's pretty cool, bringing a new product, and you got something that's liquid already, right? 
Yeah, exactly. And that's all about uh, folks like yourself and the rest of the trading community paying attention to new ideas. Uh, right. You know, new ETFs are hard, right? You got to cut through all the noise. Yes. Uh, but we think we think these ones um, certainly are unique uh, because of the volatility we've seen in the markets. They did launch at a good time, uh, being there for investors. But again, for someone looking for more concentrated exposure to to really the names that are moving in today's market. Uh, this, these are going to be two ideas for you. So that's HIBL and HIBS. No, I, I can see that. Uh, there, there's no doubt because what ends up happening is that uh, everyone just is looking for vol well, not everyone's looking for volatility. We're looking for volatility, that's for sure. <laughs> so, what else do we have happening with direction? I know when I brought this up this morning, I know you get a lot happening, man. So, what would we like to talk about? Yeah, well, another interesting idea that we've seen uh, is actually it, it's it's in just the inverse 1x side. Yes. It's SPDN. So this is the S&P 500, just uh, one times inverse. That fund has grown tremendously this year as well. We've actually had it in the market for a while, uh, but investors never caught, it, caught interest in it. Even today, we're seeing activity in the fund. Likely, it's more of a tool just for hedging uh, if, you are, if you want to keep some long exposures on. But I've been finding the flows into that product really interesting because they've actually been pretty consistent even when we've seen up, ups and downs in the market. So which tells me is that certainly there's some massive bullish sentiment out there today, but we know it's still not an all clear signal. So that's a great tool for investors who might be comfortable kind of integrating a hedge to their portfolio uh, so you don't necessarily have to touch some of the other parts uh, that you might be wanting to trade. Which is great. No, so the, the bear one is SPDN, right? Yes. And then the bull one is? Well, then we have the bull and bear. Uh, oh, yeah, SPXL yeah, I, I get it. And, okay, this uh, is SPXS. That's three times. So this is, this is a, kind of a lighter level of leverage. But my point being is that obviously we've seen SPX, uh, SPXL and SPXX explode. Same with the small caps, your TNA, your TZA. But this has been an under the radar fund, yes. uh, which has also grown you know, alongside something on the high beta side. So to your to you know kind of your intro to this segment there there's tons of opportunities out there uh and i think today like t t today is another great example where you know we closed on a pretty sour note uh for most of last week uh but then you know today because of just uh some hopeful hopefully some some great news coming out of the pharmaceutical community uh that would be you know uh, help with the the health side of this particular crisis sure maybe not necessarily the economic long term investors plow right back in on the long side. So the tools, both on the bull and bear side, really can be used by traders very effectively in, the, in this type of market. Yeah, there's no doubt. Now, let, let's switch gears, because I was talking to you before last time uh, about uh, this 20-year uh, bond. So, And inside the 20-year bond, folks, the direction we have the TMV. Uh, this is quite a move on bonds out here today, man. Yeah, that, that, that's, that, that's another side, too. So, you know, we, we have massive risk on sentiment across the markets. You know, all these areas that uh, mo many people have been looking for is confirmation that, to your point, that this move uh, might be sustained, uh, whether it's looking at uh, what's happening in NASDAQ, growth stocks actually underperforming your, your value stocks today for the first time in a while, small caps just ripping. Yes. Uh, and then, of course, what's happening in bonds. So we have all these just kind of interesting plays that all appropriate at the same time. Who knows if this, if we keep the bullishness into the close, um, but I, I think investors need to, you know, stand their toes in this market. No doubt. Listen, thank you, Dave, for so much education. Look forward to speaking in two weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hey folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!
The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Larry Pesavento is hosting a special event Thursday, May 21st from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Trade what you see, a live trading event. For the first time in over 10 years, Larry will host a live event where you'll watch over his shoulder as he trades the markets live. You'll see how he organizes his trading day, the times most likely to generate a signal, what outside information he ignores, and more importantly, what he does not ignore, and much more. Larry will trade the markets in real time, including the Euro US dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, the Dow, and e mini SP, crude oil, gold, treasury bonds, wheat, and soybeans, and more. When you sign up, you get a month of his daily newsletter, Fibonacci 24 7 included. For all the details on Larry Pesavento's live trading event on Thursday, May 21st, and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now is up 900. We get the Nasdaq up uh, 206. S&Ps are up 104. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento. And don't forget, folks, Larry, every trading day, outstanding show right here at TFNN, 9 to 10 Eastern Standard Time. Larry also has a great newsletter, Fibonacci 24 by 7. And uh, guess what? Thursday. This couldn't be a better market, folks. Our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento, is going to be doing a live workshop. 9 o'clock in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. It goes 9 to 12. He'll have a break in between that. Uh, and then a t 1 to 4 with another break uh, there. Uh, if you want to understand what Larry does, Larry is a patent recognition expert, uses patents, uses Fibonacci sequences in order to trade every trading day. Real easy to get into the workshop, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right in the featured content. You just hit the live trading workshop, and this is going to be a live workshop, folks. You just hit checkout. You can get Larry's newsletter for a full month. You're going to get a great workshop. You can go over this as many times as you want. You're actually going to see Larry trading live. It's only $395. Larry Pesavento, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you doing? How do you like this volatility, my friend? I, I like it, man. I mean, it's about as volatile as you can get. It's going to be really intriguing yeah, in these next sure 60 is. minutes or 30 minutes. Because what happened, folks, is the NASDAQ 100, which is the strongest indice, hasn't been able to hold these highs. It's up there, but it hasn't held uh, mm -hmm. those highs. It already tested them, and it's not holding. And, uh, and then our man, Larry Pesavento, folks, tomorrow afternoon is also going to be live here for the full hour. He's doing my show. I appreciate that, Larry, tomorrow. Um, so, what what are we looking at? I, I believe we got a chart well, too, right? Well, the main one today I'm looking at, of course, you know, I watch each, I watch about 12 different markets, and I, you know, have usually four or five trade setups each day. Today we had a couple of nice ones. Was in crude oil, and also in the, um, the British pound was a good one, and then we had uh, one other one in the euro, which was nice. But the main thing that I'd like to tell the folks today here is it's hard to believe, Tom, did you realize that we are $70 a barrel from when we were minus 37 in June or in May crude oil? Isn't it we've amazing? Rallied, I we've was... rallied $70 a barrel from minus 37 to plus 33. It's... I mean, that's just, uh, you know, it's really, really quite amazing. And I posted that chart. Now, uh, this is the August, which is the one that's tradable, I guess, at most of the Merck firms. And you can see that yeah. it has some really nice symmetry, whether it's going to be a uh, pattern to complete or not, but you know these are the ones that you like to see. So, well, we're having volatility though. This is exactly, you know, what we like to see, and I think it's going to keep increasing. And all you have to do, folks, is just 
you buy in the morning, and then you sell at the close. Just do that every day, and after about 20 days, just go to the bank and cash in your bonds, and you'll be in good shape. Oh, my God. You're too funny, Larry. Seriously. Uh, it, it, listen, it, it, this is probably once-in-a-lifetime deal that we just saw happen with inside of the oil market, though. I mean, you know, it's yeah. absolutely unheard of that you... In fact, one of the tigers is saying that, yeah, we had gone from 10 to minus 37 on that close in the oil contract, folks, okay? So someone was paying someone else 37000 to to basically t take take the oil contract off the hands, and now you're out here at 32.13, uh, basically a month later. Pretty amazing. Yeah, it so, sure was. It's really exciting. Do, Ed, do you remember uh, 12 years ago in Chicago, you and I and uh, Ed Young yep. was visiting us. You and I did a, a, a one-day uh, seminar, live trading uh, in Chicago, right next to the Board of Trade, as I recall. We had a lot of fun that day. We worked for about 10 hours, and... Uh, I think we had about 20 people, but uh, we did really well, and it was a lot of fun. That's basically the first one I've done since that time, I, Tom, listen, so I, you know, looking forward to it. There's no doubt, because what, what happened, folks, so picture this, years ago, that was part of the, a business plan going forward, uh, and, you know, that was the last one we did, and we, we had done a few of them prior to that. I remember the first one I ever did, in fact, I met you there, I remember doing, I did a live for trade station in Las Vegas. Oh, my God. That's, that's like 97, 96. 97 or 98. Yeah. yeah. One of those years. Yeah. It yeah. Sure was. Um, so if you've never been to one, what happens is this, folks, is that you're going to get to understand the patterns that Larry's looking at, the Fibonacci sequence as you're doing it, and what ends up happening is that when they hit these numbers, that's when you're looking to either put a position on, sell the position, you get your stop on the other side of that, and the bottom line is that it, it, this is not going to be a long-term deal, folks, okay? But what does, meaning that you're going to be going in and out, that what does happen, which is really cool, is that then you take the position after that, you know, because the way that Larry sets these up, yeah, they can be short-term positions. Uh, these things set up in weeklies and monthlies, too. I mean, it's, it's up to you at that point as to what type of risk you actually want to lay out inside of the marketplace. Um, mm -hmm. But there's there's certainly a lot of action out here. So talk to me about the uh, what, what was happening with the pound out here, man. I mean, because this this dollar this dollar you know bottom line is uh, having a tough time here, man. Yes, it is. We've uh, I focused on that in the newsletter that we do each week, and it was making a, a one of those A B C D patterns that we see. There was a strong strong support at that 108 level in the euro. It rallied over 120 pips today, and the pound rallied over 150. Pips. Yeah. And I just used a simple ABCD pattern that you like to look at. It was an hourly trade in the pound going over the last week. It was a perfect setup where AB equals CD in both price and time. Okay. And so you had a pretty good place to uh, to enter the market. So those are the kind of things. And, you know, while I'm doing this, uh, this uh, seven hours, I'm going to be archiving all of these charts. So everything that we do is going to be archived into a folder so everybody will be able to go back and look what we did and how we did it. And during the dead time, which is not going to be much, I'm going to go over the four favorite PowerPoints that I've done over the past 40 years that are my favorites, and I think the folks are going to like it. And as a special guest uh, reward for those coming, they're going to get a book that I wrote uh, 23 years ago with my good friend Jay Cross about Amos Hostetter. I interviewed his uh, his daughter, and uh, Jay, of course, worked with him while he was at Com Cor Commodity Corp back in the early 60s, and so we had a lot of information and shows what his thought processes were, his, some of his routines, and what he looked at. At and how he pyramided trades and stuff. And I think it's a nice little book. It's about 80 pages. Never been published, but I am going to send it out to the folks that uh, come to the uh, one-day session. I think they'll like that. But uh, I've got a lot of things to cover. You know, I was yes. thinking, what am I going to do for seven hours? And by, the, by the time I got through half a sheet, I said, dude, I don't know if I have enough time or not. <laughs> well, I know. So. You know, Tom, Tommy was explaining this to us in our morning show today that you're also going to get a special, folks, okay? You're going to have to get up at 1 o'clock in the morning and trade with Larry from 1 o'clock to yes. 4 o'clock in the morning, right? <laughs> That's right, no matter where you are. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> in fact, somebody, somebody in the UK uh, pinged me this morning at five minutes to one, and when I usually get up to, to visit the facilities, and they said, where have you been? I said, I was sleeping. <laughs> That's so funny, man. And, yeah, and, and, yeah. Folks, we're only kidding about you having to get up, but let me tell you something. Larry is there 
if those alarms go off, okay, the bottom line is the trade's going out. If you're in the newsletter, the trade comes out to you. Tommy and I, we just crack up about it because, you know, when you're, when you're out there trading, folks, what happens is that you definitely have your phone. I have my phone next to me. He has his phone next to me. I say, okay, where are the S&Ps, man? We're always, but it is what it is, man, you know. So mm -hmm. if, you, if you're going to be in this market, you might as well basically uh, get as good as you can get at it. And this is going to be a great way that you can do that, folks, by coming over to our website. Uh, you're going to see Larry right in featured content. Just hit the button, bring it up. You're going to get a great newsletter. On Larry sends out great videos. So they're really easy to uh, basically comprehend. You're just looking at it. Everything is right in front of you. Larry, you have a great one, safe one. Uh, thanks so much for doing the show tomorrow. And, of course, we look for the, the, uh, the webinar on, on Thursday, man. Thanks a lot, Tom. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, have show. a great All one, right. man. Have a safe one. Dow. Dow's up 921. Nasdaq's up 221. S&Ps are up 107. Stay right there, folks. Got our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, coming up next. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN has developed a daily programming lineup for traders by traders. We start every trading day live at 8.30 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien hosting the Morning Market Kickoff as he starts the day off by breaking down everything you need to know about what's going on for the trading day ahead. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento takes your calls and questions live on the air for the opening bell as he hosts Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the Bull Bear Trading Hour. At 11 a.m., it's Kevin Hanks and Alex Coffey from TD America. Trade Network with Fast Market, Basil Chapman at noon with the Tiger Technicians Hour, Steve Rhodes hosts the Trader's Edge at 1 p.m., Dave White with the Power Trading Hour at 2 p.m., and Tom O'Brien closes out the day for the final hour of trading live from 3 till 4. Don't miss a second of our daily programming lineup. Tune in to Tiger TV every trading day live at TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 930, uh, 934. NASDAQ is up 229. S&Ps are up 110. Let's go over to Home Depot, folks. So Home Depot is uh, going to be coming out with numbers. we got a lot of numbers coming out this week. Home Depot is going to be coming out with numbers uh, tomorrow after the close. Uh, bottom line hits an all-time high out here today. Uh, and when you look at this, this is what's going to be really intriguing about this. So Home Depot and the crash went down to $140. You are at 245. You hit 248. 32 out here today. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we'll see what it can, what they can do. Uh, thus far, what you actually have here is that you got into the high 
looks like you're going to close underneath it, but you get some juice. So it's going to have uh, tomorrow to see whether it can basically bust through that high. But uh, you talk about uh, an equity that uh, just showed up. Uh, Home Depot, uh, no doubt. Uh, let's go over to Lowe's and take a look at Lowe's. Uh, Lowe's right now is trading at uh, 117. And the low for the year uh, in Lowe's is 60. The high is 126. That was established February 20th. They are coming out with their numbers on May 20th. And yeah, uh, Home Depot, uh, the earnings are coming out after close tomorrow. Uh, so Lowe's, this little baby here is having a harder time than Home Depot. You know, you're, you're 126 is the high, but in both cases, uh, they definitely have some juice. Uh, what is also getting juice out here today are the home builders. Uh, well, who, who isn't getting juice out here today? That's the other side of it. Uh, the home builders, if you take a look at Lanai, Lanai's up 10% uh, out here today. Uh, it's going into one of the downdrafts from uh, the downdraft uh, of March, March 9th. That's what we're coming into right now. And uh, we'll see whether it can basically get up into this uh, $67 area. Right now you're at 56 and they're coming out with numbers on the 25th uh, of June. And, you know, I suspect what's happening there uh, probably had to do with the aspect of uh, interest rates. But if we actually do go over to that interest rate market, what you're going to see here, uh, the TLT, which is the uh, 20-year ETF structure, that's down $3.76. Uh, you're coming into the lowest swing point. Now, this is going to need more volume in order to break this 162.05. We hit 162.42 uh, today. Uh, volume's not that big, though. But uh, bottom line, I expect it's going to go attack it. If we go take a look at the 30-year bond, what you're going to see out here, the 30-year down on 209,000 contracts, so you're at the lower end of this range, and same setup, though. This is what's so intriguing about this market here today. So you get big numbers in the S&Ps and the composite going topside. We do have a contraction of volume. When we take that together with the bond market, you get big numbers there, meaning on the way down. That being said also, is that what you also have, though, is a contraction of volume there. We're coming into 274,000 contracts at 179.01. We hit 178.02, and we're laying out right now at 178.13. So, same there, that is down, it's down pretty good, meaning that so rates are going higher. Uh, but in order to sustain that price, I expect the volume is going to have to expand. Let's go to Al in Homo Sasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. Every day is a beautiful day, man. Yeah, I, you were talking about the past. Uh, you need to tell your people uh, to... Uh, Get time in the trade. I remember the first time in the trade. Remember when you went ahead and put them out on uh, pieces of paper with a uh, binder? <laughs> I do. And thanks for buying it. And, I do. Uh, the Fibonacci uh, calculator in that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, we go back a little ways. Slightly, but, man. Uh, That's slightly. It yeah, feels... I just want to let people know we're, um, there's going to be a problem coming up. Uh, you know, I went ahead and got a lot. I got a lot, and I'm building a house. And uh, Sweetwater Homes and that just informed me that they have to raise the price fifteen thousand dollars because the Canadian lumber has gone high. Also, the cement from uh, China and the copper is uh, going high. So we're going to have some inflation in the uh, building market. That's interesting, man. Let me bring this lumber up right I now. Okay, so lumber's at 347 a board foot. Yeah, that's interesting, man. I mean, you know, so... I'm just letting, letting some people know in that because we're, we're going to have some inflation and stuff like that, and that's going to squeeze wages and a lot of other things, too. Well, so, you know, it's um, intriguing. So, Al, what, what, so talk to me for a second. So you have, you, did you already have the contract with the, 
the place, the the people to build the house? No, I, I no, it didn't. I had I had to uh, change all the zoning on the property. I had it was multi-family. It. Okay. And I wanted to I wanted to uh, change it to single family. I got like a, an acre and a, a half. Okay. In uh, Sugarwood Mills. Okay. Which is humongous. I see what you're saying. Water I see. And sewage. Yeah. Right. Well, that, you know, that says quite a bit if they can actually go up in the price if the demand is there, you know, so we'll see, you know, because you know, that says quite a bit also, and it's, it's so it's intriguing. I mean, I'm in that business. It's just intriguing. That's good to hear, you know, <laughs> in, one, in one way, because if you can go up on price in a market like this, that's pretty intense, man, you know. Well, my, my wife was worried, but I told her not to worry because I'm going to be renewing the gold cut, the, uh, uh, the gold cut, the, uh, not the, the gold newsletter and stuff like that. And if it keeps doubling every three to six months, you mean these stocks and that, oh, I'm not going to have me, a man. problem. You, you kill me, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm just saying, so what are we going to look listen, at? Come on, what are we going to look at, man? Go back and look at the charts. I, I know, no, listen, charts. I, I, I know and I appreciate it. Listen, I know and I appreciate it, believe me. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, too. Hopefully you'll have a deal like 4th of July and June because that's when it's due for me again. Okay. <laughs> well, I... The, the, but the, let's look at Newmont. You've given me so many promos, I should give you 10 years free, actually. <laughs> no, yeah, I'll be honest with you. Your honesty and caring and stuff like that has helped a lot of us. Thanks, And man. it's important Thanks. that you read time in the trade and that. That way you put your stops in... If you're in a bad position, you get out of it and you reevaluate. You've taught me a lot about that and that, stuff. It's not it's not personal. It's the market. I love it. Okay, so Newmont. Let's take a look at Newmont. Newmont, the low is 30, the high is 68. This is a high today. This is one of the strongest gold stocks there are, folks. Um, are you still in it? Are you looking to get in? What are we doing here? Well, what I'm doing is when I get out of a different stock and stuff like that, I go ahead and I have like three categories. I have the gold, the golden stocks, you know, the silver and the copper, three different levels of risk. Okay. And I, uh, and I just uh, buy into each one of them since TD Ameritrade don't could charge me anymore for uh, trading. So. Right. So a new one, if you don't own it, I'd kind of just, you know, hang there and see if you can, you're, you're at 66. I mean, it wants to go a lot higher, but I'd see if you can get into it around 64. You know, I mean, this can go back to right where it just broke topside from. Okay, thank you, Cooking, brother. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 972. Come right back. Larry Pesavento is hosting a special event Thursday, May 21st from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Trade What You See, a live trading event. For the first time in over 10 years, Larry will host a live event where you'll watch over his shoulder as he trades the markets live. You'll see how he organizes his trading day, the times most likely to generate a signal, what outside information he ignores, and more importantly, what he does not ignore, and much more. Larry will trade the markets in real time, including the Euro US dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, the Dow, and E-mini S&P, crude oil, gold, treasury bonds, wheat and soybeans, and more. When you sign up, you get a month of his daily newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7 included. For all the details on Larry Pesavento's live trading event on Thursday, May 21st, and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. 
New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up by 988. You have the Nasdaq uh, trading up uh, 245. S&P's up 113. That's a gain in the Dow, folks, of 4.1 percent. S&P's 3.3, and the Nasdaq composite 2.7. So this composite is really, it's really intriguing. Let's go over just to look at the NDX 100 again. So the NDX 100, uh, bottom line, we take a look at this. The high of the, today is 93, 93.61. We're right next to it. Uh, basically, it's laying right out there. And if we pull this back and you take a look at it, what you have is that the high is 93.45. Uh, right now, you're at this uh, 93. 61. So we'll see if that can basically hang in there uh, at the close. What is intriguing is this. Let me show you this. So as we come into this close, it's going to be really interesting to see if, in fact, this thing is going to run like the DAX ran. So if you take a look at the DAX in Germany, folks, okay, what had happened is this. The DAX wasn't up that much. Uh, except for the last hour. So the DAX had been trading sideways all day, and the DAX was running at 10,888. Uh, well, what ended up happening in the last hour of trading, the DAX basically took off from that 10,896 uh, and ran into 11,058. That's what that baby did, and that's, that's, that's a heads up, man, because uh, when we started the day, so what had happened there is that we've had, we had our own S&P basically grab the DAX and yank the DAX higher as well as the FTSE. So that's my point about how we come into the close out here, because when I was looking at that earlier, I said, this could be really wild how this close can take place. If we go into the Dow Industrials, what you're going to see is that the Dow Industrials right now, it wants to be up 1,000 points. I mean, it might as well get to 1,000. It's up 994 right now. Now, the high that it's going after uh, is 24,764. So right now, we're about 90 points away from that high. That high was generated on the 29th of April, and uh, we'll see whether it can launch this area. You know, uh, what hasn't happened yet is the S&P, as well as the Dow and the small caps haven't launched that area yet. Uh, and and the, the small caps, small caps get a big number out here today, no doubt. Now, that being said, the small caps are also coming into its high that was 136. And the low of that high is 131. You get 40 million shares versus 50 million. So that also just doesn't have the juice. We'll see how this baby lays out into the close because if you do hold price, 
your probability is a lot higher that you can actually uh, make that move uh, out here tomorrow. We're going to take a look at the some of the uh, high flyers, meaning Amazon, Google. Uh, Amazon out here today up $17. It's been up $17 all morning. Uh, that's coming up to the top of its range. And that, that's... This has been a strong stock like bull in a huge way. It's going to be a lot more. It's been in consolidation now since uh, the 16th of April. I suspect that's going to stay in a consolidation. That's going to lead a lot more building cars before it gets to a higher price because the acceleration has been dramatic already. Google, Google's up 14 bucks, same as this morning also. Google's going to have a problem with uh, the antitrust issues. That's how this thing looks to be shaken out. Technically, um, you know, it doesn't look to me that it's going to be able to make it through the gap. The gap, the gap in Google starts at uh, 1436, and we made it up to 1416. You know, so I just don't see it making it through there. It's, it's, it's basically stopped there, and more than likely with that, so technically it's stopped there. Fundamentally, I expect what, what you're actually looking at is that you're looking at whether, we'll see whether it's the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months. Uh, Google, um, bottom line is that they're going to get dragged into court by the feds uh, for antitrust. And there's no doubt that the uh, aspect of the state's attorneys general uh, are already after them. But I suspect uh, they've been building a case for quite some time, and I don't think it's going to be that hard to really get a, a decent case against Google. It, now, that will take a few years if you haven't been around for the Microsoft case. It normally takes three or four years in order for that to come down the pike. But that will put uh, pressure on Google. Tomorrow morning, Walmart. Walmart's going to be coming out with numbers tomorrow morning. Um, you can expect uh, decent numbers out there. What's going to be intriguing with the Walmarts of the world is this, is that Walmart is up at 246 today. You're, you're basically, your all-time high is 133 or 128. Uh, Walmart is going to expect to do... Okay, they're looking to do $132 billion in 90 days. Top line, they're looking to bring $1.12 to the bottom line. What we will see happening, though, and this is what's going to get intriguing, is the it's going to be what type of guidance that a Walmart, a Home Depot going forward. Where I see a differential is this. A Home Depot, what has happened is that I think we have definitely a change in how we're operating, meaning, yes, we're going to be home more. It makes a huge difference, okay, what you spend on. On a Home Depot, you're spending on that level, but it seems that when you're ever building, not just building house, fixing a house over, it's never ending, okay? There's always something to do. Now, a Walmart, an Amazon, uh, grocery stores in general, what ends up happening is that the stores in general, houses are packed to the hilt. So I suspect what's gonna happen there is that the feedback we're gonna get is very well that, yes, we've done very well during this crisis time, um, we may have houses that are packed, and it's like, okay, for the next month or two months, they may not be as busy. Uh, what's going to be really intriguing, uh, just when I was talking with Al from Tampa, it was intriguing to me that the builder could go up in the house, meaning price-wise, in this area. And the reason being is, folks, you know, we build a lot of houses, uh, and the action is good, and, you know, and it has been good, and it's steady. The, the intriguing part about it, which I'm still trying to wrap my head around, is this. So picture, you have the office market. Now, I'm, we're in a very cool niche, okay, because St. Pete is a very hip town, and I build a single family in the front, 1,943 feet, three bedrooms, two baths, one laundry room, 10-foot ceilings that go to 14, all hurricane-proof. Then in the back, what I do is I build a carriage house with either a two-car garage or a three-car garage. The two-car garages have a pool. The three-car garage um, has a one-bedroom above it. The two-car garage has a studio. And what's intriguing, what, what is what we're getting calls on now is that people and companies are basically looking for a product like that. So it's intriguing because there's going to be more people working from home. So they're separate, and that's going to be intriguing inside the single-family market that what people are going to build and where are those rooms going to be located so that you actually 
can have a separate place. Because my take would be if you're working at home 24 hours at home 24 hours a day and work in the same place, it's gonna be that's gonna be tough. You know, it's 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 cool three, four, five, three days a week or whatever, but it's gonna be intriguing in itself as to what changes in that market. Dow, Dow's up 993, Nasdaq's up 241, SPs are up 113. We'll come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, an essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 961. Nasdaq's up 234. S&Ps are up 109. Yeah, and, and one of the uh, tigers inside the YouTube channel, folks, uh, was bringing up the aspect that, uh, you know, between uh, Texas and Florida, how they're growing, uh, the housing market-wise uh, is going to get intriguing. And there's no doubt about that. What we have seen... Uh, you know, even the last couple months, uh, I would say that a good 70 to 75 percent of the action that we are getting in Florida right now, in St. Petersburg in general, is coming from different states. That, that, that is happening right now. Uh, it's, what's so intriguing about it is that people are actually getting in their cars. They're not flying. They're getting in their cars driving down here to look at houses. So it's like, okay, this is going to get, you know, really intriguing uh, in another couple of months when you can actually uh, get on a plane. You know, we can get on a plane right now. I, don't get, I understand that. 
But what I've seen is that people are not getting on the plane. They're driving, and they're probably driving because they want to. They can't figure out yet where about in Florida that they want to live. Most times when they come to this coast, we're on the west coast. They'll they'll go to Tampa. They'll check out Tampa. They're going to check out Clearwater. That's all the we have beaches the whole way. They're going to go to Clearwater. Then they go to St. Pete. So the the differential is St. Pete is like the arts hip. Um, community that's that's on the water. Tampa is uh, a little more sophisticated. Uh, clear water, flat out. Just you know, get your sandals on, jump on, get your feet in the sand, and you are grooving uh, in a big way. Market wise, out here, Dow. Dow's up uh, six nine fifty five. Uh, S and P's are up one oh eight. And this market's going to close at the highs. That's the bottom line. If we take a look at this uh, spy, uh, not enough juice in it. Um, you know, but it's not. It's yeah. There's not enough juice in the, in the spies. That being said, guess what? You're at uh, 295.59, uh, and that is over the high. So it's going to be a closing high out here. NDX 100. Let's do this quick. We need to know that NDX. Because the NDX, I'd still put more faith in. Uh, NDX. We are at uh, 227, and it's 228.05. So check it out. This is wild. The NDX has actually failed on price and volume. Want to mark it up a thousand. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit us tomorrow. Tommy kicks us off. Great show. 8.30 in the morning. Bam! Look at him, folks.